Is it possible to have a new way to look at compatibility? It is something that touches the core of each and every human being. Is there some predetermined course that our lives are on that tell us who we will get along with and who we will not? However, it's accepted by many cultures that there is more than one personality out there to be considered the archetypal soulmate for each individual. Moreover, you are extremely lucky in life just to find one. Whether the phenomenon known as a soulmate personality is at the mentoring age for you or at an apprenticeship age for you, it does not mean that you cannot confine your innermost thoughts and wishes. And finally, if you find the phenomena of a soulmate personality to be at an age to be the significant one in your life, you are extremely lucky in this day of hookups and cop-outs. Everyone should be able to share love in a happy, healthy setting and I am here to help, hopefully, shine a light on a more meaningful existence for you. I'm Mick Scrubs, and I'm going to give those who write in a unique personal reading to find out not only the exact year and month of this phenomenon known as a soulmate personality, however, and undoubtedly, the exact week of birth of a personality to you that may have the most desirable qualities according to these three amazingly accurate ancient philosophies of astrology, the Chinese zodiac, and now with the introduction of the elements of the ancient Taoist knowledge of Kiology, the best possible communication. In many cultures, as I have mentioned previously, it is known that we may have many personalities known as a soulmate, and I will help track down the birth dates of a few of them for you in this program called The New Compatibility. Today I am doing a celebrity profile. Chris Salvatore. He was born in Gemini, born in the year of the Ox of 1985. Chris Salvatore was born in Richboro, Pennsylvania. His date of birth is May the 22nd of 1985. Notice here the Chinese symbol for metal. Qi energy, or some pronounce it Kai energy, is the energy of life in the philosophies of Asia. This is the Loshu number grid or Loshu magic square. Asian priests and nobles use this number pattern to describe key energy. Notice how the number patterns all add to 15 horizontally, vertically, and diagonal. It is a perfect numerical square. The rotation of the middle number is significant for it designates the number annually as well as monthly as we shall see later that will be used for key energy for an entire year. The rotation of this key energy number is significant in the Asian philosophies of the martial arts of karate, judo, as well as in the construction of cities as in feng shui, as well as used in meditative disciplines such as tai chi. The center number of the low shoe magic square designates the number of the year. In the year Chris was born, the center number displayed by the low shoe magic square corresponds to annual key energy number, key number for short, six. For simplification and to exemplify the all important center number, there exists an annual key number chart for compatibility as you see here. Each year of birth is assigned annual key number 1 through 9. Taoists have assigned each number 1 through 9 an element, fire, metal, earth, wood, and water. Notice also the corresponding annual Chinese zodiac sign. The relationship of each element of the annual rotating low shoe number grid, or magic square, denotes the order of compatibility. For example, Chris's year of birth is assigned annual key number six. In looking for the most compatible year, the study of key energy designates the year of the ox of 1985, a metal element year. Again, it is assigned in the study of key energy annual key number six. The metal element year in the study of key energy is very compatible with those born in the years assigned an earth element. The reasoning for affinity between earth and metal is that metal is created over time by the merging of elements in the earth. 
Hence, affinity is always granted to those born in the years under the column of metal assigned annual key numbers six and seven to those born under the column earth assigned annual key number two, five, and eight. Those like Chris who are born in a year under the metal element column also have this awesome affinity in their relationship with those born in a year under the element water assigned annual key number one. The theory for this affinity here is that metal has many good cohesive and adhesive properties capable of attracting and holding water vapor, which helps naturally to convert water in its vapor form in the air to a liquid form through the process known as condensation, therefore in itself physically creating water. Thus, metal has a natural affinity for creating and sustaining water. As you may already know from the writings in the Chinese I Ching or I Ching, I've heard it pronounced different ways, also known as the Asian Book of Changes, which the Chinese priest and prophet Confucius made a lot of contributions, that the Chinese zodiac triangle of affinity designates the year of the ox to know the heart of those born into the year of the rooster or the year of the snake very well. The Chinese zodiac is also known to closely follow the planet Jupiter, further linking the I Ching to the study of Western astrology. In matching the Chinese zodiac triangle of affinity to the study of key energy, Taoists have come up with very good examples closest to Chris's age of someone born in the year of the snake, 1977 or 1989. These may not be the personalities that are inclined to boss Chris around or try to control his actions. On the contrary, these may be the individuals that share Chris's interest and laugh and joke around. Affinity with these persons may come with ease in a natural feel as they may seem to be a platform of encouragement from which Chris may make a stand in the needed areas of his life. They may possess an element about their character that just inspires Chris to have the will to develop and sharpen his skills. They may feel encouraged by watching Chris take the prize and may want to photograph or write about his successes. Chris could find a gold mine of gleaming conversation and therefore a natural feeling of friendship. This union of encouragement and success has many natural aspects and could point to a grand conjunction of love. A person born in the Chinese zodiac year of the rooster of 1981 is the closest annual key number one within Chris's Chinese zodiac triangle of affinity. It may be someone that he admires and respects already. According to the Asian Zodiac, you may know their heart better than most. This could easily evolve into a soulmate spectrum of relations. I would not, as some Chinese astrologers would agree, leave out a person born in the artful year of the rat of 1972. Though a little farther, further apart in age, they could be a resourceful mentor personality for Chris as well, especially if their monthly key number is an exact match with the monthly astrology mentioned next. The Loshu number grid is as ancient as the first human civilization on the continent of Asia. Its rotation is behind the placement of Chris's annual key number previously discussed, and are arranged here in a chart denoting the low shoe number grids rotation through a monthly cycle for those born in annual key years three, six, or nine. Remember, since Chris's year of birth is annual key number six, this is the chart of number grids that fits his monthly key number. Now I know I just lost some of you out there when I said monthly key number. That's because the Loshu magic square rotates through a cycle annually, and it also keeps track of things monthly. Now, let's take a look further. Notice the Loshu number square, or magic square, 
as it rotates through the months of the year now to give us a monthly key energy number. Just like the low shoe magic square rotates its numbers annually, it changes every year, it rotates through a monthly cycle, it changes its center number every month. That reflects the cycles of the moon, and it is related to the planet of Saturn as well. Now notice the center number of the low shoe magic square. The center number is the number that we will match to the person that is most compatible or has the most sensitivity in communication to be more capable of understanding Chris through and through. The center number for Chris's birth date of May the 22nd of 1985 was on annual key number six, that's for the year, and monthly key number for May of that year was monthly key number two. Look at the center number is two. Remember, we're now working inside the months of those magical years that I previously went over for Chris, and we will look, we'll look through the monthly charts to see where the year of the snake of 1989 and 1977 match Chris's monthly key number of two, and then pair it with a matching Western astrological sun sign. Now I turn the page in my book and I find the chart for annual key numbers 2, 5, and 8. Remember, I'm looking to find where the years of 1989 and 1977, year of the snake, match Chris's monthly key number of 2. So I have to look back at the annual chart and remind myself again that the year of the snake of 1989 is assigned annual key number 2. and the 1977 year of the snake is assigned annual key number five. Now I go back to my two, five, and eight monthly page and I find the matching monthly key number two matches the astrological sun sign of Aquarius. Now the constellation Aquarius appears in the night sky in the northern hemisphere of the tropical zodiac around January the 21st and is where the sun moves geocentrically through our earthy skies until around February the 19th. However, the monthly key number, the center number two that we just found for Chris, looking at the lunar calendar, which shows the position of the moon at the most auspicious monthly key number two is around February the 7th. So it is the last two weeks of the astrological sun sign Aquarius that gets the good monthly key number of two. So listen closely, and to sum it all up, the astrology and monthly key number relationship. You may find that matching your monthly key number, representing an individual's communication habits, to another person's monthly key number, the person of interest, born in the years mentioned previously, for example, the 1977 year of the snake or the 1989 year of the snake, will couple with this Western astrology sign designating each person's elemental senses and astrological nativity nicely to find a person that is most likely to think, communicate, and have similar habits as you. If you know someone or you're able to find someone on a dating site that matches these three philosophies, these three worldly philosophies, you may have found the archetypal soulmate description of a person that you will most likely have the least problems with in your day-to-day -day activities. Again, Gemini born in the year of the ox before June the 7th, like Chris, has monthly key number two assigned. This is the astrological sun sign that has an exact match to your monthly key number two if they were born in the Chinese year of the snake. That's the Aquarius born into the weeks after February the 7th have that awesome key number two. They may exhibit swell communication in the form of an inherent understanding of your sensitivity and emotions. Now, however, if you're not able to find someone born in the, that specific two weeks, here are astrological sun signs that may exhibit a nourishing effect. Nourishing effect mean, means the relationship of the elements like the relationship of metal to earth and water mentioned earlier in this video. So Chris, take down and pen a piece of paper and jot these down as well.
they are also good for the years of the snake of 1977 and 1989 for you. These astrological sun signs are Aries, born after April the 7th. They have monthly key number 9 assigned. Taurus, born in the days before May the 7th, also may exhibit this nourishing type of effect. Their monthly key number is 9 as well. Other Gemini born into the weeks following June the 7th may exhibit this nourishing effect in conversations with you. Their monthly key number is a 7. Cancer born into these Chinese zodiac years may exhibit this nourishing effect. The whole sign of can cancer. Their monthly key number is 7 and 6, respectively. Leo born into the weeks prior to August the 7th also may exhibit this nourishing effect in con for ease in conversations with you. Their monthly key number is 6. Aquarius born before February the 7th, they have monthly key number 9 assigned as well. However, it is the last two weeks of the astrological sun sign Aquarius that holds the exact match to Chris Salvatore's monthly key number 2 that are are, of course, born into the previously mentioned years of this snake, and it is my choice for him. There are more personalities to be discussed, like the very best month of the year of the rooster of 1981, or the year of the rat of 1972. However, there is a limited amount of time for my blogs. If you're interested, shoot me an email written below the screen, and I can make myself available for that discussion. So you see that we're on a solitary sojourn through complicated patterns in time. We only get a glimpse of what is really there. And if you blink one time, you could miss that chance opportunity to meet someone that you're destined to meet. If you're not aware of the little bits and pieces of information that nature has ordained upon you, you could walk through life in a mystical fog, forgetting that the time is now to plan to reap the love that you're here to bring into this world. So, just as the magic of the crystal ball can see into your future, with the magic of the age of the internet, Chris has a 100% better chance and opportunity, more so than that, those of us born in past generations, to find a friendship of a soulmate quality born in 1977 or 1989 near the snakes. In the last two weeks of the sun sign Aquarius, and a whole array of other astrological signs. And my thanks to you all for tuning in to this channel, The New Compatibility. Look for a new blog twice a month and write in to let me know your birth date and where you're from and I will go over a profile specifically curtailed for you. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the links below for those that are interested in the book, Astrology, an authentic focus on revolutionary discoveries and compatibility.